I think I finally fixed it. If you get the installer information on the recover server is damaged when you're trying to reinstall on your MacBook Air, I figured it out. So when you're going to power it off and then do Command R to reinstall, I don't believe that Mac allows you to reinstall Sierra because it is such an old program. So what I did was I was doing a lot of research and if you do option command R, hold those, power off, power on, option command R, it'll bring you into a boot menu. And then in this boot menu, you're gonna see the newer um, version of uh, software for the Mac. Um, what I did was I was trying to re do my PC, my, my Mac. I was tired of, of all the stuff on it. So I ended up going into disk utility and I just deleted everything. I just erased everything. And I, that's when I ran into that issue. Um, so what I had to do is the option command R bring me in, into this, which is like the newer setup menu. Then I wasn't able to install still. So right here, this was blanked out. It was, you could read it, but it was kind of not highlighted, highlighted with the white lettering. It was kind of like a gray lettering. Um, so what I did is I clicked on it and I erased it and I installed it. Um, so I'll show you guys that. I erased it and then here, I know you can't see that well, I'm sorry. Um, I did the Mac OS Extended Journaled. I clicked on that. I clicked Erased. And then it said Complete. And now the lettering is white. So then I can quit out of here. And now I can finally reinstall my operating system. After about an hour and a half trying to figure it out, I ran into a web page for it. So I hope this helps you guys. Because um, I saw a lot of comments on different videos on people running into this issue and not being able to do anything. So uh, also make sure you're connected to your internet so it can detect the newer software. So I hope that answers everything for you guys. Um, that's how I figured out how to do it. If you in, oh, and also when you go to uh, re-install this, um, make sure you put your total gigabytes. So there we go. Now it's going to take two hours and 19 minutes, but that's fine. <laughs>